Hey folks, Wes here checking in. I uh, got something a little bit different for you today. I recently bought my first digital SLR and I uh, needed a camera bag to go with it. And I did a lot of research and I sought out different sort of camera bags. I wanted a backpack style bag that I could take with me on a hike if I was out in the woods or if I was you know, walking around a city somewhere. I wanted something that would not only carry my camera but carry some other things I would want with me on a sort of a day trip sort of thing. So uh, what I finally settled on is this. This is a Low Pro AW22. Um, and I want to go ahead and show it to you and give sort of an overview of it and so other people who are looking for shopping for camera bags can get an idea of what's out there and this is what I think is the best right now and uh, just want to let you know some of the features this bag has and sort of show it off and so here it is this is the uh, it sort of looks like a standard backpack that you would see uh, people using in school or whatnot. Uh, it is in this sort of what they're calling a pepper red color. It's sort of an orangish red color. Uh, they also sell this bag in a gray color and a black color. Uh, but I like the bright color, so I thought I would go ahead and get the pepper red color. Uh, and it's a very traditional backpack and it has two sort of very thickly padded uh, straps to give you good uh, good weight distribution. Uh, it does have a chest strap you can use to uh, lock that in place and it does have some elastic uh, in it so it will it will give as you're walking you know it's not going to be pulling on you too tightly. Uh, there is also a waist strap at the bottom for that extra level of uh, security to really uh, tie this thing to your body and make sure it's not going to fall off or be pulled off or anything like that. Uh, so you have that option as well. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it. The first thing we have here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the front here. Uh, we have a front, front sort of large opening here and it's uh, access to the zipper that goes across here in the front. And it is a uh, car compartmentalized with this padded uh, padded insert here and this is designed to hold uh, like a, a tablet like an iPad or whatever kind of tablet you have a, uh, a netbook or a some sort of ultra book you know small small notebook small tablet sort of sized area really nice it does have uh, an area here where you can put some pens or pencils if you wanted to uh, or, or some styli for the tablet itself so that's really nice uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the uh, sort of the main compartment for your your, your day hike sort of gear uh, things extra things that are camera related that you want to bring with you uh, first off you have some some mesh uh, elastic pockets here for some things uh, nice open area here with a nice uh, nice bottom to help you uh, store you know some extra clothes or a snack or wh whatever you might want to throw up in here you can you can put it in here pretty easily um, and fold this down there's also a pocket in the back inside here where you can put some other things and uh, you also get a uh, hook for where you can hang some keys or whatnot in there. So, you know, a lot of, several different compartments in here where you can put different things and sort of stow things away. And it's, it's pretty good in that way. It's not, it doesn't have an extreme amount of, amount of uh, pockets, but it has a nice amount of pockets where you, you should be able to find a place for everything you want to bring with you. Uh, so let's go ahead and zip this back up. On the side, you have some nice long pockets. Uh, you can put a, a compact tripod in here. I just did the tripod I'm filming this on now. It fits in here nicely. Uh, there's one of these on either side. You could also put a water bottle in here if you wanted to. Uh, so that's really nice. So let's move on to the actual most important part of the, of the bag, the part where the camera goes. So that is accessed in the back. This is called the hatchback series of their bags and it's, it's in, the, in the back side. It's accessed through the back side. There's no other way to get to this sort of section other than through the back side and you sort of zip this down, fold it open and you have a spot here for some um, memory cards or what whatnot if you want to put those in there just a little extra 
little extra area to do some, some things. And then this is the main area where your camera is going to go. A nice, heavy, thick, padded um, inserts here that, you know, there's a lot of Velcro so you can sort of move these around and configure it to where it fits your camera well. Um, but I put sort of my camera here in the middle and the lens pointing up and it gives you a nice secure spot for the camera. You have some spots on either side for extra lenses or I got extra battery or what, what not in here. Uh, one of the really nice features of this bag is that this whole section is removable. Go ahead and pull this out. So if you were going out one day and you didn't necessarily want to bring your, your SLR with you, um, you could just take it out of here. And this has a uh, drawstring where you can sort of close this whole portion up and it has some handles and you can leave, leave your camera behind and just uh, use this as a normal backpack. And the nice thing about this is that this is normally the, the, uh, the panel that sort of separates the top half from the bottom half, but it is also uh, uses Velcro. Undo this panel and go ahead and zip up your hatchback here. And so now you just have a normal, full-sized, uh, really nice, deep backpack. You could put a ton of stuff in here, you know, uh, if you're going out hiking or doing, doing whatever, doing something where you need to take a lot of different kind of clothes with you or a lot of food with you or something. Um, you could transform this into a normal backpack and use it that way. Uh, really, really handy feature of this bag. Put this back and I'll show you one more thing that's really neat about this bag. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Now we got it back to where there's camera gear in the bottom and your day-to-day -day sort of gear in the top. And the one last feature I want to show with you about this bag is that it also includes its own rain poncho if you happen to get caught out somewhere and it starts to rain and you want that extra level of protection um, sort of down here in the located in the bottom of the bag so it actually gives it some extra padding in the bottom when it's not in use and then when you, uh, when you happen to get into some bad weather and you can just pull it out like this and it will slide over your bag like so and that gives you some extra rain protection if you get, happen to get caught out in the rain and this so uh, works really well so that is the low pro aw22 Really nice camera backpack, really configurable, really useful in different multiple uses. Uh, works really well. The best one I could personally find for my, my personal use. Um, and hopefully if you're watching this, maybe it'll be something that you would be interested in as well. Um, like I said, comes in three different colors as well. They do also have a smaller version, that's the AW16. Uh, slightly smaller, maybe if you have just an SLR and you want to bring one lens with you, uh, you know, just the one lens that's attached to, no extra lenses, maybe that bag would be a little bit use more useful for you just to have a little bit of a smaller bag. But uh, I, I kind of like this size a little better, so I went with the, went with the little bit larger size. So uh, that is the Lowepro AW22 hatchback. I uh, hope you enjoyed this sort of overview and review. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers.